everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've put down a base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I'm using two colors today other than my base coat but three different shades of each of those colors. And let's go over those. I'm using purples and greens. So let's start with our lightest green. I have Liquitex Basics Light Olive Green. And next I have Amsterdam Permanent Green Light. And my darkest green is Blick Phalo Green. Just a beautiful, beautiful color of green. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, and let's go over my purple colors. My lightest purple color I have here is Folk Art Color Shift Blue Violet Fine. And my next color is Artist Loft Metallic Purple. And my last purple is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. Okay, I mixed everything today. Seven parts mix, one part paint. I did thin a little bit with water. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to call it a ribbon pour. I'm going to leave a lot of negative space today, do some tipping, and just see where we're at. I'm thinking spring today. Uh, we had a big snowfall here, and uh, I want to look ahead and think of spring, so that's what I'm going to do. And I want to leave a lot of negative space, and I always put too much paint on the canvas, so I thought, how can I ensure that I don't put too much paint on the canvas? Well, I took the containers that I mixed my paint with and I just poured a little bit of paint in these little paper cups and figured when that paint is gone, that would be plenty. And I think I'll just do a little something up here too. I started with the, the darkest purple, that dioxazine, and I'm just going from dark to light. No silicone is used today. And I really don't expect any cells. Just having fun here with this paint. We'll start with the lightest. And we'll start with the darkest. Let's start with that darkest green. It's almost like a bluish green, that phalo green. Very pretty. Hope you're all having a good day no matter where you're at. I know uh, our country got a lot of snow dumped on it. Squeezing out every little bit of that green that I can there. And here's some, that medium green. And this is our light olive green here. It's 
get some up here. Okay. I think I will give it a quick torch before I start tipping. And I'm going to add a little bit more base coat just to help the paint move. Okay, that should be good. All right, so let's just start the tipping process here. And again, I used the mix, so I'm really hoping that these paints play well together. moving kind of slow but that's okay I'm liking what I'm seeing so far really going to give them a good stretch here. Because as you've heard on my other videos, when I use the mix, the more I stretch, the, the more pretty the effects I get. And you can see some of that clouding around the paint now. Hopefully you can. And I hope that you are seeing most of this tipping going on. Bring it back a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at it here. It's really, really pretty. You can see what the mix does here with this right in here. You can just see a little bit of that purple and green coming up through the white there. And I think I will give it a torch. And I do like the composition of this. It's very pretty. And now what I think I'll do is I'm going to add just a few little um, balloon kisses. Not really balloon kisses. What I'm going to use is just a little cotton ball that I have here. And I'm going to uh, 
first I'm going to just dip my little paper towel in my paint to get down to the canvas there to make sure that the little flower I'm going to add will stick. And when I get my paint added here on my cotton ball, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So you can see I've added some of that paint on my cotton ball. I'm just going to push it down where I removed the paint and make a little flower. And what you can do is just run something through to make like a stem like that. Just add a little something to your painting. And let's try that again. This time I'll use the medium blue, some of the medium purple, and some of that light purple. First, I'll remove a little bit of the paint. Because if I don't do that, it'll just fill right back in. This way, my flower has a, a better chance of showing up. And again, I'll make a little stem. Okay, now I think I'll turn my painting around and put a few flowers down here at the bottom. Let's try for one right in here. Time I'll use the dark green. Follow that up with a little bit of the olive green. And let's go with the dark purple on top on that one. Let's see what we get. You can already see some of that paint was starting to um, fill back in. Okay, let's try one. Having such fun with this. Let's try one right here. Let's see what we get with this one. Okay. We'll put a stem on it. And I just think maybe one more up here at the top. If you wait 15 or 20 minutes, you don't have to um, take away your paint like that. Your paint will have set up enough probably that you could just do your flowers. That's just a little trick that I learned that if you don't wanna wait, just take some of that paint off and then your flower will work. Okay. Oops. 
go add a little bit more paint there to that corner and give it another torch and then we'll get you down for a close-up this certainly does look like spring to me okay let's get you down for a close-up okay everybody here we are for our close-up again this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas I did want to leave a lot of negative space. This is the upper left hand corner and there's one of the little flowers that I added. This is the effect you get with the mix. You can see the transparency of that purple coming up there. Just beautiful. And then other areas are very crisp. Just going down the left hand side here, like in here really really pretty and there's the lower left hand corner again you can see some of the transparency there of some of that purple trying to come up and i'll take you over the whole painting there's another flower and another one it's pretty in here a lot of colors going on and there's another flower there I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner very busy in here. The colors are very beautiful and crisp. And down to the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. If you'd like to uh, let any of your artist friends or just friends know about this video if they'd like to watch this process make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that i do post a new video subscribe if you haven't that would be great and until next time take care everybody thanks spring bye for now